Hey guys, welcome to another Serve Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host, LGGym007, and today we look at the Q Rewards plugin. So this is a really simple, lightweight, and easy to use plugin that allows your players to get daily rewards for logging into the server. It's highly customizable and you can have a leaderboard as well to see who has the longest streak. Overall, it's a really great plugin, so let's just jump into it. So first of all, if we do forward slash Q rewards and hit enter, this is going to bring up the GUI. Now up at the top, we can see my profile. So the streak started today and it's currently zero. The highest is three days. Now there is a way you can skip days and cheat. I will show you that in a second. But if we have a look, you can see all the different days here and the different rewards that you can get. Obviously we can't get any of the future days currently, but we can keep going until day 31. So if we go back, we've got day one, which is ready to collect. And if we click this, we are going to see a nice little title on our screen and in chat and then we're gonna get a diamond and a block of emerald. Now, if we go back into the GUI, you can see the minecart's now empty, it's been collected, and then we have to wait nine hours, six minutes until day two. Now, if we don't want to wait that long, we can actually skip ahead. So if we do forward slash Q rewards, and then skip, and then one day, hit enter, that will skip one day for myself. Now, the way this works best I've found is leaving and rejoining. That way, when we repeat the command, bring up the GUI, day two is now open and we got an elytra and eight blocks of diamonds, so a very decent reward. And if I repeated the skip command again and went into the GUI, we now have day three, and now we get three blocks of all these nice gems. So if we do the Q rewards reset command, followed by someone's username, so I'm gonna pop myself in there, that is going to reset my data. Once again, it's best to leave to make sure it goes through properly. And then if we do the Q rewards command again you can see day one is ready to collect now if you do forward slash q rewards leaderboard you can see i am currently the highest and i've got a one day streak we also have the q rewards reload command if you've changed anything in the config file which is where we're going to head shortly so here we are in the plugins folder and if we jump into q rewards you can see there's a few files if we go into the main config i'm going to open this up with notepad plus plus so we've got uh, the type of database at the top you can choose which one you want if you have that, the language, the command aliases. So instead of typing Q rewards, you can type just rewards or whatever you want. And then the mode type. So it is a streak. Do you want to allow missed days or does that set you back to one? And then how many missed days can you do? And then we have max offline days as well. We have the title, how long it lasts for, the fade in and out. And then if we scroll down, we have the GUI, which slots have the reward items and then just the background material of the GUI, so pretty straightforward. And then the main place we want to go is, of course, the rewards.yml. So up at the top, we can see we've got the rewards and we've got the material, the collectible items, and then the law, and then obviously the give command. So you can see we've got each day, uh, for example, day three, we got these three items so give player minecraft diamond block gold block emerald block so as a quick example i've just added lines 32 and 33 and what we're going to do is add a fourth one and we're just going to add some random stuff here real quick so as you can see i've added day 34 now which gives you 32 tnt i've changed the color and made sure i changed the command there so then doing the rewards command we can go to the next page you can see 32 33 are there and 34 is your 32 tnt so here we are on the speaker page you can see it's updated for 1.21 and you can see all the information and permissions down here now if you need a server to host it on check out serveminder.com for the best and cheapest hosting around that's it for me subscribe like comment and i'll see you next time